Hi everyone. We would now like to uh, test our knowledge on this, uh, you know, consolidation uh, questions where we bring the concept of partial acquisition. Right? Uh, we don't understand that. Uh, we certainly understand that uh, you know to to have a controlling stake, it is not compulsory for the acquirer to have a hundred percent shares or hundred percent shareholding in the other company. Right? So given that scenario. Uh, you know, the NCI starts to emerge, right? M NCI starts uh, to appear in the group balance sheet, right? So how do we deal with that? How does it change the calculation of goodwill, for example, et cetera, is something that we want to spend some time on now, okay? Let's have a look at it. It says, company X acquired 80% shares in X, uh, company Y on 31st of March, 2021, right? The balance sheets are given for the same date, which probably means that which actually suggests that uh, the acquisition is done on the same date, right? It's also provided that prepare the consolidated balance sheet as on 31st of March, 2021, right? It's further provided. So there are all the information of the assets, liabilities, et cetera. It mentions that company X measures the NCI at the fair value and the fair value of the NCI is given at 50,000 rupees. Okay, so how do we deal with that is the question now, okay? We know that our step one is to first of all look at the relationship between the entities, right? The date of acquisition, which is 31st of March 21. The reporting date that is also 31st of March 21. Okay. But this time the percentage holding is 80%, right? That would give me again a subsidiary in place, right? My company Y becomes a subsidiary because 80% would safely, uh, you know, presumed, you know, uh, would be presumed to be a uh, you know, uh, controlling interest in the other entity. Okay, so that's what we have got. The other working that we want to do is, of course, look at the goodwill calculations. Okay, uh, the way we present goodwill here is we still ask ourselves, what is the purchase consideration? Okay, how much are you paying? Well, we have got the answer two lakh forty thousand. That's given in the balance sheet. So this two lakh forty thousand rupees comes. Okay, but then this is for just for our understanding. It's for eighty percent equity, right? You are acquiring eighty percent. So for eighty percent, you are paying two lakh forty thousand. Okay, but importantly, what will you consolidate? How much will you consolidate? we say we consolidate 100 percent okay so we'll be deducting the net assets to the extent of 100 percent and that's where we say the share capital is one lakh fifty thousand right that's a figure we want to pick up and retained earnings of 50,000. This is what we have got, right? Which suggests that the overall net worth, the total net worth of the entity is in fact 2 lakh rupees, but this is 100% of the business. Okay. We are only looking at the goodwill for 80% because we are only acquiring 80% stake in that company, right? So from, from this entire total net assets, so let's put it like this. We need to adjust or eliminate the portion of the NCI, okay, which is given to us at 50,000 rupees, right? So when we do this, how are we interpreting that? We are saying that, well, I'm paying for 80% and the worth of that 80% is 150,000, okay? I'm paying 2,40,000 rupees for 80% stake in the company, which, which has a worth of 1,50,000, 2,40,000 is 
to the extent of the 80 percent worth which means that my goodwill is measured at 90,000 rupees okay the goodwill is measured at 90,000 rupees that's what you want to remember now this is not for 80 percent you know share in the business I mean there's an 80 percent stake in the business but this goodwill represents full goodwill because my NCI is at fair value okay we don't have to worry about anything I mean this goodwill remains intact we don't have to really much bother about what is the meaning of a full goodwill or a full goodwill or a partial goodwill this 90,000 appears in the group balance sheet as it is right so we don't have to worry about it at all okay and since my date of acquisition and date of reporting are the same I don't have to do anything else right in this case which simply means if I were to do my calculations now I'm simply looking at my consolidated balance sheet of company X as at 31st of March 21 right I'm looking at again the format which is assets non-current assets within which we have property plant and equipment right which is one lakh plus two lakh fifty thousand okay let's take this column that far this becomes three lakh fifty thousand rupees okay and then we have a license which is 30,000 rupees and then we had a goodwill okay that amounted to 90,000 rupees so I'm using the reference of working to making it 90,000 rupees and then I'm looking at of course my current assets okay okay which are inventories 40 plus 30, that makes it 70,000. Cash and cash equivalents, which is 50 plus 20, 70,000. And then we have other current assets, which are 20 plus 25, which is 45,000. Okay. That gives us, of course, total assets. And if I do the sum total of this, that gives me 350 plus 30, plus uh, 90,000, plus 70, plus 70, plus 45 that is six lakh fifty five thousand okay on the other hand we have equity and liabilities right start with the equity parents share capital right parents equity at any point in time two lakh forty thousand Retain earnings one lakh twenty thousand. Right now, importantly, the moment you see this less than hundred percent stake, you need to bring the non-controlling interest immediately after equity and of course before the liabilities portion. So this amount of fifty thousand would appear in my balance sheet of the group right and then we have non-current liabilities so let's mark those which are 
बैंक लोन वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड राइट डेफर टैक्स व्हिच इज थर्टी प्लस फाइव दैट्स थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड करेंट लाइबिलिटीज payables 15 plus 10 and then we have other current liabilities of 25 plus 10 so this would be 25000 here and 35000 here giving in total Equity and liabilities. Let's do the sum total of that. It is two forty plus one twenty plus fifty plus one fifty plus thirty five plus twenty five plus thirty five. Now that gives us the same amount as the total of the asset side, right? So when there's a partial acquisition, you want to bring the nci in picture both in the balance sheet and of course for the purposes of goodwill calculation there right that's something that you want to pick up as a part of this conversation okay